What the fuck? What are those? These are these are uh bully coon dogs. <laughs> that right there. Actually this right here. Cross with highball back there. She highball up there tangled oh, up. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got some blue dawn. We got Hertz Ultra Guard Oatmeal Flea and Tick Shampoo. Can I get a little bit on my hand? Yeah. And these are our hog dogs. Mutts. Mm hmm. Let me get up on that belly. Shout out to uh, my man, Catfish. They say, hey, Bo, what y'all doing over there to keep up with y'all dogs? So uh, we're going to let y'all know what we do to keep up with our dogs. Put them off, yeah. This is how we get rid of our fleas. We give our dogs a bath every month, every other month if we're slacking. But here during these hot summer months, it's important that you wash them at least monthly or give them some type of uh, flea and tick preventative. They got pills, they have ointments, oils, sprays. We tend to use shampoo and, and the ointment, Which, if you want to call it. It's kind of like a little liquid. I don't even know what you call it, but you can find it at your Walmart. It kills all types of fleas, ticks, deer ticks, and flea eggs. That's the most important thing, the flea and it eggs. it lasts a month. Mm -hmm. Also, three in a pack for $5. Can't beat it. Okay, uh, we may need a water hose then. All right, we're gonna spray them off and we're gonna get to the beagles. We also use- Hey, 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 shut up. Don't tell them how good it is. It's good, we know it's good. I'm trying to tell them how good it is. The puppets even know it's good. Vets Best, Nature's Healthcare Flea and Tick Yard and Kennel Spray. This is also what we use. I love it because it's plant-based formula and it also smells so pepperminty. It's pepperminty fresh. There you go right there. Even got peppermint oil in it and there's some more ingredients in it as well. Spray that in your kennel. For all those off the ground kennels, it works well. Good way to make sure your dogs run a little bit faster is to take care of their feet. Here we have Star. She ain't had her nails trimmed in a while. What you wanna do is you wanna kinda of get that curvature out of there. Your, your, your dog nails shouldn't touch the ground when their feet are flat. So these nails are way too long. There's actually the cuticle right up under there if you look. Yeah, for black nails, you turn it upside down to kind of like see where that wick is in the inside so they don't, so you don't cut it and they bleed. There you go, because if you quick them, they're going to bleed a lot and they're not going to like it when you clip their nails. I lost my nail clipper, so this hasn't been done in a while. Come on, babe. Now, I've been clipping for a long time, so I don't necessarily look up on the bottom like I'm supposed to. But being that I found my toenail clippers and we're gonna be clipping from here all the way to the end and after the season, it's about to be on the monthly routine. They got my rag. Ruby! Come on. <laughs> all are pretty happy. Pretty happy. Bo, Bo Show Beagle right there, baby. Full grown. And about 12 inches tall. I like them short and compact. I love them short and compact. Black and tan, black and red. That's my color. Yeah, you're so tiny. Pat, 
this is peaches and cream. Well, this is peaches. Say hey, peaches. Another one of both shows, beagles. Beautiful little thing, lemon beagle. Got a buckshot. Buckshot. No. Something like this. It's a buckshot, dog. Slow and steady, win the race. That's Debo Mama. She come out of Tennessee. Black and tan. Black and tan dog. No papers. Great dog. She probably had papers at one point in time. But she dead broke. Don't run no trash or nothing. Stroke them by herself. Well, you like that girl. Between them toes. Oof. Oof. Another trick is to take the collar off and dip it down in whatever you're washing the dogs or dipping your dogs in. This is Fancy. She's uh, one of the three tricolors we got here at the kennel. Biscuit. Mm, which one she like? Oatmeal or citrus? She like oatmeal. Out, biscuit. That's cream. As you can tell, you don't even see any flea bites. We got one little tick right in there. So it's keeping the fleas down to a minimum. She has some little irritation from her collar. Put some cream on it again. But a little $5 Walmart ointment is working. And then that strawberry shortcake. Also known as fat ass. Because she always looked pregnant. And that right, babe. Said Bo Show got some pretty bagels. Uh, yeah, pretty slow. Pressure bus pipes, though. Big, pretty fat bagels. Mm -hmm. We think we're being mean, and we call this dog fat ass. But she's really fat. She stays fat. She's the fattest one in the kennel. Beautiful red dog. We got her from Junior down there in Bergall. Thomas, Thomas, Mr. Th Thomas. <laughs> Both show people here. Debo. Hey fellas, if you don't got a good dog brush, go steal one out your lady's cabinet. Hey, like, I don't even know why y'all dripping, man. I ain't never had a bath since I've been here. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? This is so oddly comfortable. It's, it's, it's really comfortable, you know. I could get used to this. An old dog done learned a new trick, that's for sure. Is that a titty? Just spray me, huh? Oh, my fault. Wow. Wow. My fault. I was looking at the camera. Wow. They got a big old thick coat like them Michigan dogs. Yeah. That's their brink. Their brink of stuff. Ah! He's really a deer dog. I don't know what the hell he is. Deer dog turn road. Shout out to my uncle Steve. Stevie Lewis, the nephew that dog just won't run no deal. He get out there, it took me the longest time to figure out what the hell he doing. He run around in circles, he run the hell out of that rabbit. So now he's my rabbit dog. Good boy. 